welcome to a new video, Dutch Urbex. I'm Desmond and I'm here with Saya, recording this new video in the most incredible, mesmerizing villa in the Netherlands I have ever seen in my entire life. And I always say these ty types of things, but it's an amazing villa. It belonged to probably a very wealthy family. Um, the family name is Smeets, but they were probably earning their money trading or breeding pigs. Because when we walked around in this house, we found things that belong to pigs, like those things they shoot in their ears like a serial number and all that and actually here in front of me there is this goodbye letter from the son of the two people I guess that lived here and it's actually a pretty sad letter he is writing about how his grandparents lived across from the road if I look outside the window, I can see their home, actually. They moved to another city close by, like five kilometers. He's going to miss this house, miss the street, miss his friends, miss all the tree houses he built. And this letter is actually called Goodbye Street. He also writes that he passes often here so it's a it's a double feeling reading this being here but nevertheless this is going to be an epic explore and we will just venture around and head on exploring guys let's go so this explore starts right here outside at the tree line of a dense forest somewhere in the Netherlands. We can hear some barking dogs up in the distance. Okay, so this is probably the shed where all the pigs were. And the strangest thing is that let me shine some light for you. There are some rings to do some pull-ups or something. There's even some straw still here. So I'm guessing that the pigs were just here on that side of the this barn type of thing. There are these holes in the floor for probably uh, the species of those pigs and all types of droppings. What's in there? Damn. 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 Okay, 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 okay. I've seen enough. They smoked. They smoked a lot. And it's it's so strange in the intro i was telling you about this letter from the kid who lived here writing that they moved to another village like five six seven ten kilometers away from here but most of their belongings like clothes and other stuff is still here Oh, there is even a picture there. Let me just pull up close a little bit. And as you can see, it's mostly close. Oh yeah, and what I forgot about to say in the intro is that he, the little kid, Bob, 
His name is Bob. And he was going to miss this treat, but also he misses his dog because he died. And yeah, it's just a, a hard period for everyone to lose an animal, a cat, a dog. This is actually <laughs> a little bit strange. I can see like a workstation over here, a lawnmower sitting right in front of me. And then over here in the roof, we have these solarium lights. Like there was probably a bed here for using a solarium. I don't know. It's a bit awkward. So we will now venture our way inside the house. And again here, there are so many things left behind, like pieces of art, family photos. I'm thinking this is the kid, Bob, who lives here. Could you like, please turn this photo around and let us check the back side of it? No name. Nah. So, a lot of glasses, vases, there is even a bottle full of alcohol right there. <laughs> it's pretty strange guys. But just look at this. Just throughout this corridor, we will end up at an amazingly bar, which had some disco lights and everything. You could throw wild parties over here, guys. This is insane. Actually, everything is still there. Look at the dining room, man. Cocktail shaker. Everything is just here. Refrigerator, glasses, bottles that are still holding liquor in it. Another one right there. Amaretto. Oh, damn! I didn't even notice. Absinthe. You could like hallucinate from that shit. <laughs> For so I've been told, I'm not sure. Um, let's just, yeah, walk into the dining room. It's a beautiful, beautiful home, guys, with an amazingly big fireplace. And the first thing, what really scared me was, we are shooting this video, like, around Christmas, and... <laughs> When I walked in here, I couldn't believe this was abandoned, but it really, really is. These are some Christmas decorations, guys, come on. Wouldn't you be scared if you walked right in, seeing all this? Let's just venture some more there are so many more rooms to explore guys this was the front door of this home and i'm actually a bit scared because these grandparents live just across the street we can actually see their house if we look outside the window 
and I'm shining here with my bright light just to give you a better glimpse of this home. Some real Chesterfield couches right here. A beautiful hardwood floor. Indoor bookcase. And I can imagine they had like a couple of fireplaces because this place is massive. They <laughs> would burn a lot of wood to heat up this house. Probably the family photo, guys. Over here, walk-in closet, which leads directly to the bathroom. And it has a beautiful bathtub, kind of black, blue-ish, with gold feet on it. And it probably had some beautiful cranes, um, not sure what it's called, but the sink is also, it looks like a seashell, man, look at this. But the smell in here is really, really horrible. And again, everything is left behind. Everything is still here. Towels, sheets, everything. It's just mind blowing, it really is. Suitcase full of clothes. I have never seen anything like this in my entire life in the Netherlands. This place is mind blowing, really. Let's just head on to the living room or just get a quick glimpse of the kitchen first. It's a small kitchen. Not that big, but it's a nice one. Pretty chandelier. The stove is gone. What do we have here? Ah, another toilet, probably, looking at those sinks. Yep. Shower. Nothing that special, actually. Oh, no, they broke it. Such a shame. It's so strange to walk in this house, guys. It really, really is. For some kind of reason, it gives me the creeps, but it's a beautiful home. Look at this chandelier. These glass windows are beautiful. Okay, so let us venture into the living room. And you might have noticed already, there is a massive pool table in this home, in the living room, right there. And then there is this grand grand fireplace which is gigantic 
I could only imagine just laying right there in front of it, big fire going, nice with Christmas. Oh, that would be amazing. What I can get my mind on is what the eep is this? <laughs> um, shit, I just got the right word for it, but um, solar, I don't, feel, I don't know. What the f is this thing doing right there? <laughs> oh, photos. I love them. Let me see if I can recognize something from this home. Not really anything. And I got a big surprise for you guys, man. Check this out. If we venture through this door, on the right we have a small toilet, nothing special. But behind this, stories the pool guys this villa has his own indoor swimming pool and again as you can see disco light right here You could throw wild parties up in here, man. I would never, ever, 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 ever get out of this pool, man. I would be drinking, swimming, chilling, just, whoa, having a time of my life. And that's not all. They even had their own gym there are a couple equipment still left behind imagine guys this place would be a fortune Pull up bar. So let us just get upstairs for a little bit. DK. So I saw this house on photos of a friend of mine and I told him, bro. Are you really sure this is abandoned because it looks way too good? But eventually when you walk in here, you can see all the decaying has started. People don't live here anymore. And above the living room, there is a staircase that leads to an upper floor, which has a lot of yeah stuff left behind couches bed and everything but that's not that spectacular it's about this view what you have sitting right up here looking right down into the living room Insane, really, really insane, guys. Kids' toys. Whoa, those are like pretty vintage. Oh, you could even see from where we came in. This corridor down there leads to the bar. So let us go and check if we can get to the bedrooms. 
would have to go all the way back to the front door of the home where there is this staircase that leads to another section of the house. So over here, we have another staircase. Let's just explore a little bit. Over here are those things that I meant which you can put in pigs their ears and I'm guessing this kid had braces Bob and probably this is Bob cute little kid isn't he very big mirror guys Oh, the top floor is pretty wrecked. So let us check out this first room on the right. Has an American flag in it. And it's completely filled up with clothes. Is there anything else to see in here? Or just close. Well, they actually had a good microphone. They really had, but there isn't that much in here except a lot of shoes, a lot of clothes. Let's head on to another room. It's a bedroom, most likely. There is a bed in here. Girl. I'm beginning to think they had two children. A boy and a girl. Nothing that special. We have another room on the right, right here. Looks like a gaming sofa. Oh, it's a very small room. I could barely turn around in here. There is a camera lens box. Not that much to see, guys. It's pretty stacked, actually. Look at it. Very small room from left to right. Not that much. We only have like four rooms up here. That's pretty small for a house this big. It's a bedroom. Probably belong to the parents. Not really that much to see. Some condoms. There is another letter right here. Hey Bob, congratulations with your birthday. Have it a great day. We wish you and everyone the best. Hmm. Okay. But over here there is Okay, I can only read like a couple of words from this letter, but I can now already tell 
a female wrote it and she is pretty mad at her husband i'm not sure why but it's very strange guys what's that Rabies. Oh, it's a uh, old toilet. Vaccination. Strange. So let us head downstairs for a little bit. Probably end the video somewhere at the bar. Maybe doing a couple more shots and then head outside. So thank you guys for watching this video of Dutch Urbex. We hope you enjoyed it. We certainly did. It was an amazing villa to explore. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe down below. Hit the thumbs up and tell your friends about us. We do epic adventures, travel a lot, documenting everything we do. And we hope to see you guys in the next video.